Hello, and welcome back to Nick's Hobbies and Interests. This arrived earlier than normal, so that's why it's going to be at the beginning of the week and before the next one gets announced. But Displate, the limited edition, the latest one as it stands right now, has arrived. Batman, Enemies of Arkham. I have unboxed it, I have taken a look at it in person. I'm quite disappointed. That's one word to use right off the bat. I had a feeling I'd feel like this, because with them raising their price, you've got to ask yourselves, how much more effort are they going to put in? If you ask me, the 3D printing on this one is not up to scratch. It's not perfect. It's not their best work. The It's a great picture. It's a great piece of artwork. It's, you know, it does look great the paint finish etc but when you are paying for those extra features and you only get a splash of rain some blood textures the bat symbol i yeah i was a bit disappointed i felt they could have done more especially around each villain or character in the background they could have easily made the masks the hats just the outline of their face they could have um they could have made that stand out more with their 3D printing process the fact they've locked that off for their limited edition range i'm surprised it's not been done better on this piece so other than me complaining about the 3D print work as a picture as a piece of artwork it's nice i have not seen the movie so i can't say hey it's worth getting it we interesting to see if they've sold out. I know when I checked Doom last, it hadn't sold out. So it will be interesting to see how well Batman did. I think it will sell because of its IP. Because of it being Batman, I think it will sell well. I'm going to punch in on my favourite section of this piece of artwork. There's a blood splatter effect, as well as rain, over Batman's left shoulder. This has to be my favourite. They've used a gloss finish on the blood itself, so it's got a reflective surface. And this is one part where they have actually lifted it with the 3D print work. It works really well. That one bit there between the three of them, between the Riddler, Penguin and Batman's shoulder, I think that has to be my favourite part of this piece. It's the one piece, it's the one bit that I keep going back over and taking another look at just in case I've missed something. Now that it's in hand, and now that there's no grey shade, like there was in the promotional work that they released last week, it is nice to actually see what was covered up. We had this thing with Boba Fett as well. Because of the angle it's taken, and that grey tint, you couldn't see that there was two other faces. You could make out that there was somebody up in the top corner, but you couldn't tell who it was. Now that it's in hand, you can really get a good look at all the faces on the picture. I have a couple of still shots for you. The first will scroll from the top to the bottom, and then the next we will just have the entire piece on display in front of the camera. It has been taken as a still shot, but in order to get it all in this one shot now, I have to uh, scroll the photo slightly down so you can see the bat symbol on Batman himself. We'll zoom back in and take a closer look at the faces. Of course we have Catwoman. I think that's Poison Ivy. I'm sure the little face underneath her chin is Poison Ivy. I don't mind for spoilers, so if you want to tell me about the characters, if you want to leave a comment, please do. But for those that do not want to be spoiled, please don't go through the comments. If you see people have commented, just don't, don't go reading. So yes, if you want to talk about the movie, Feel free, fire away in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, let's take a look at my shelving where this is now on display. So you've got Star Wars and then you've got um, the hot toys of Batgirl and Two-Face from The Dark Knight. And it is behind those two I've actually switched out my Dark Knight display for this Enemies of Arkham. I think it looks really cool. The reason I've done it is because you can't quite tell if that's Catwoman or Batgirl. If you take a look at Batgirl's face here, compared to Catwoman back there, you wouldn't really know going off the, just the piece of artwork alone. 
if you haven't seen the movie. So I thought, yeah, go on, why not? You're going to still have to excuse Tony Stark's missing his head, but I thought I'd give you a quick little look at my shelving now. If you watch my channel, you know I assembled the elephant for Horizon. That's needed at home. And if you've looked further back through my channel, you will, well, very quickly, you're going to see the Last of Us figures. But um, if you go further back, you know I had a, an Horizon Zero Dawn display over here above the God of War uh, slipcase and where Nathan Drake is. I have left that open because my idea is to jump on the Displates website sometime later this month and buy some standard ones. No, nothing limited edition, just a standard display to go back there. Hopefully God of War related or Uncharted. I don't know if they've got both. I might look, see if they've got an Uncharted movie display and put that there. I forgot to mention it and if you missed it, I have actually placed Enemies of Gotham or Arkham next to the Black Widow limited edition by display. That is behind the Marvel figures in the corner there. They may be two separate universes, but as pieces of artwork, they've both got good colour matches with red, with black. Yeah, I think they look good together. Anyway, if you got this far, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you weren't disappointed. Like, share, subscribe. Please fire away in the comment section below. And of course, take care.